my favorite candidate other than me sent an email this morning that I'd like to amplify on, but also urge restraint. So that is Vivek, and what he sent is another money bomb. So it kind of goes in the, the, the same old, same old scare people fashion. It has two elements that deserve restraint. Now, I like forcefulness, but I also like calmness and wisdom. And thus, when Vivek says on day one, he will order a 50% headcount reduction in every federal agency, this is too blunt. 50% may be deserved in a few agencies. 65% may be deserved in some agencies. Ending some agencies, 100% is deserved. I agree. But there's places where a 50% headcount quick reduction it just shouldn't be done. 20% maybe. 10%. Look, the military is actually a federal agency. Um, you don't want a 50% quick reduction, okay? President Xi over in China might really relish it, but we shouldn't. We can be nimble and cut the many contractors that we don't really need, the many people who are employed directly by the federal government in the U.S. military, but they aren't shouldering weapons. They have paperwork that we can eliminate. That's nimble and smart. The other place, oh, the IRS. <laughs> You don't want a 50% reduction. I'm sorry, they're overwhelmed as it is. You want a 100% reduction in the tax code, which needs to be simplified to like two lines, maybe eliminated or not used for the next 20 years altogether. Constitution now permits an income tax, but we don't have to use it. The IRS has so many problems keeping up with the myriad loopholes and exceptions and amendments, if you get rid of those, you have to go to Congress, not the IRS staffers. Change those rules and the IRS won't need as many people. All right, the other element was abolishing federal employee unions. I dislike this. You don't have to deal with the unions. But abolishing them is ending a right to free association. And I don't think it's right to tether employment, which private companies could do to say, if you're in a union, I'm not hiring you. But I just don't think it's wise. If you're in a federal union that is obstreperous, we don't want to deal with you. I think unions are helpful. I think they help workers who can't speak for themselves well, can't stand up for themselves well, and need a grouping. Now, I don't think there's that many of those people, but a union helps them and doesn't necessarily come at the expense of the employer. When unions get big and haughty and empower their leaders to do things that are frankly not good for either side, except the leaders, that's where they deserve to be reined in. Good negotiation by employer, including the federal government as employer, is the right way to constrain unions that are out of line. But otherwise, I think unions have a very good purpose. I want to defend workers who don't otherwise have a collective voice. Thanks for listening here. I'm Mark Stewart.